I just wanted to have a quick little chat about drill bits. In my last video, making the uh, 1.9 inch long uh, motor standoffs, um, I had to use this drill bit, it's a 1364, which is about just under 0.2 inches. Um, and I had to drill 1.9 inches deep on the lathe, which is nearly the entire fluid length of this drill. Um, and it was stalling up a lot, even with flood coolant. Chips were welding to the tip, it was just getting hot. Um, this is a dull drill bit. I tried a second drill bit, that was also kind of dull, but less dull, uh, and it stalled up just as easily. Um, now for deep hole drilling, there are special drill bits for aluminum for deep hole drilling. Uh, this is one, it's a bigger, it's is, I think quarter inch. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but compared to a regular drill bit, the helix, I believe it's called the helix, is a lot uh, tighter. Black one's a lot tighter. No, the black one, sorry, the black one's a lot uh, more gradual and the helix on this one is a lot tighter. Now supposedly these for, are for aluminum. However, these ones over here I know are for aluminum and they work amazing. They've got a super shallow helix and the profile, it's like they ground out so much of it that there's hardly any drill bit left compared to a regular. Now these do work really really well. I believe I got these from Fastenal um, and they work really well. It, it just gives more room for the chip to exit the hole and they're specifically designed for deep hole drilling. So I've got some here at three six or five sixteenths. Uh, I've got one here at half inch. I mean, you can see the difference between a cheap half inch drill bit and this guy. And they work really good for kicking the chips up out of the hole. So for doing the part that I just talked about, the uh, motor couplings, um, I got four of them done and I got uh, 12 more to do. I think I might have to run out and get a 13 uh deep hole for aluminum drill bit. Hopefully I can find one because uh, this currently isn't working. I guess I could throw one of these in the tail post of the lathe and just crank them down by hand, uh, which is not a bad idea because you get more power that way. You can't stall the Z motor with your you know, when you're hand drilling it. Um, so I don't know, I'll either buy a drill bit or, um, or just do it by hand, which I might do. Here's a funny one I see up in the corner. Forget how I made that mistake, but uh, live and learn. And then up in the corner, Got all my dull drill bits and end mills in case I ever buy a uh, sharpener. Then I can go back and sharpen them all. While we're here, all my taps. These are all metric taps, because I'm kind of a metric fastener kind of guy. There's some bigger metric taps, and I think a uh, 5 8 by 11 on the left. NPT taps. There's all my lathe inserts. Now I think I have a short lame video of these silver ones, they're called AK inserts from kbctools.com. Um, very highly polished tool for aluminum. All the parts that I've been making recently on the lathe uh, use, all the aluminum parts use those inserts and the surface finish is just fantastic. So that's cool. Um, here's a vinyl cutter that I made. Used a little drag knife. And as you can see, the bearing lets it rotate and drag. There's a huge Sandvik um, parting parting tool that I got for about five bucks at a um, tool used tool warehouse. PCB engraving end mills also work for engraving uh, aluminum. And here's some of my really cheap uh, end mills. It's a chamfer mill that I made. All kinds of fun stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I just remembered, these ones are called parabolic drill bits. And I'm pretty sure I got them from Fastenal. Um, 
And as I said, they work really good. So I went back to the to that part, the uh, motor standoff, and I tried to manually drill it with the tailstock, with that uh, dull drill bit that used to go right here. And it was just as difficult as CNC drilling, even with uh, coolant. It would load up and gall up, and uh, chips would weld to the tip, and it was just horrible. The the drill bit's probably really dull. So. I got, I've only got about 7 parts done out of 16. I think I'm going to have to go out and buy a parabolic 1364 drill bit. And that'll work great, I'm sure. Lucky for me, Fastenal is 5 minutes away. However, they did not have any parabolic drill bits in stock. So I just got these, they call them uh, black and gold drill bits. They're just typical center cutting. Um, classical driblets. Anyway, I tried one manually and this is classic example of what chip loading or chip welding looks like. You can see this bottom one is full, completely gummed up with chips because I'm drilling to basically a depth of where my thumb is. 1.98 inches deep. So uh, you need something with such a high high helix angle and uh, the just the center part the 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 center base diameter is so thin that it just gives the chips way more room to get out and I had flood coolant on this guy I was manually drilling and backing out and drilling and backing out uh, and about halfway down it starts to gum up and you need a screwdriver to pick these things off so I'm gonna put this this new one they're both new but this one's used once. I'm gonna put this guy in uh, in my CNC holder and try to do some CNC drilling, uh, pecking in an eighth of an inch full retraction, another eighth of an inch full retraction with flood coolant. See what she does.